In, I first came across Chris Ophelia's work in 1989 when I saw his work in the Young Contemporaries in the Whitworth in Manchester, where I was studying at the time at the art school there. Uh, it was very rare at the time to see a portrait of a black artist who was painting from life, partly in the style of Bazlitz, and there was a kind of hint of um, suited in the style. So we recognised him as something different, and he was getting quite popular amongst the art students. Well, for me, uh, Chris Ophelia is a great painter, a great artist, because he's always exploring, like the great modernists. In 1992, he went to Zimbabwe, and he saw cave paintings that used dots to make paintings, and he thought, I'm going to start using that style in my new work. And then he went to a safari there to see elephants. He didn't see any elephants, but he saw loads and loads of elephant done. And he thought, well, maybe I can use that as a kind of intervention for a painting. So he came back and he thought, how can I use shit on a canvas? Uh, and he's, he's probably the artist in the history of art that has made shit the most beautiful it's ever been. It, it's, it doesn't smell. It looks so aesthetic. And these balls of elephant dung pressed into the canvas that are also work as the stand of the canvas. Portraits of all the black stars of the 90s. Because what makes Chris Ophelia's art so different is he paints the black world. And this is a snapshot of who was big in the 90s. Snoop Dogg, Lauren Hill, Nelson Mandela had just been freed. Uh, what I like about his paintings is that they, 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 they aren't easy to categorise. It's part abstraction, part figuration, part decorative. There's pornography, there's religious iconography. There's cartoon. There's a whole mishmash of styles, but, but he's such a great composer in the formal sense that, he, that when I first when I saw these paintings of the Serpentine, I was blown out over by them, just how coherent and how new they felt. Uh, well, Chris Ophelia, uh, is painting uh, To Do Voodoo, what I love about it is, in a way, it's the most realistic Paint, uh, portrait painting in the exhibition because it's got photographic portraits of, of about 30 people in here. Uh, all the other ones are just paint on canvas which is, is far less real than a photograph in one sense. So this is like a modern day idea of the group scene. Uh, but I love the fact that for the viewer that this that, that the portrait is a, is a never ending concept, it's always being reinvented, it's, um, it's, you know, photography didn't kill painting, it just made painting become more interesting. Uh, you know, to paint the human figure or to draw the human figure is a, is a mystery that will always mystify artists. What I really like about Chris Avili, uh, uh, I think he really stands out amongst all the YBAs, maybe Fdoig as well, is that he had become the painter that uses elephant dung and glitter and, and map pins and things. And he basically went to Trinidad and started to fall in love with nature and just gave it up. You know, he didn't do like many, many famous painters, you know, for the next 60 years, they're going to be doing the same uh, trope in their work. He kind of found nature a mystery and, and there's a kind of new mystery, a poetic view of nature that, that seeped into his new work. He's an, an artist that is uh, uh, redefining what painting can be in the 21st century and that makes him one of the unique painters of our time, a real painter's painter.